Welcome to Mr. Arthur's Secondary 3 Honors Unit Circle Construction video. As I've given this as an assignment, I figured I should probably give you some instructions to go with it. Uh, this is also probably the best video you'll watch all week, so prepare for some awesomeness. Anyway, to construct this unit circle that will become your best friend for the next month and a half or so of class, you're going to need the white unit circle paper that I handed out. You'll, you will also need the three strips of colored triangles, the blue ones, the yellow ones, and the pink ones that were paper clipped to the unit circle. We're going to start with the blue triangles. And before we start, please make sure that you are on the side with the 45, 45, 90 triangle. Okay, that's very important. You'll notice that the blue triangles are also 45, 45, 90 triangles. So you will need some scissors right there and you will also need a glue stick or some other form of adhesive preferably one that dries flat like rubber cement uh, I would avoid Elmer's glue it makes it kinda messy and, and kinda ugly so first thing you're gonna do is you need to cut out your triangles all four of them Ta-da! triangles now, before you do any gluing, please place all four of them on the triangle to make sure that you have it correct. So, what you're going to notice is that the right angle is always up against the x-axis. And they go like this. Okay. When you put them all together, it should look like a TIE fighter. If you don't understand that reference, stop watching this video, go watch Star Wars right now, come back. Okay. After you've got them placed, then you can start gluing. Um, a common mistake that gets made when we construct these is that students glue the wrong side. So, as you glue, don't move any of the others, just pick up the one you want to glue, maybe, and flip it over onto some scratch paper and you're going to cover the entire side with glue. You especially want to get the corners because we will be using this a lot and the corners like to come up. So when you get the corners just right off onto your scratch paper. Okay, everything. You might as well cover it all. And then you can just flip it back into place. You want to line up the point at the origin along the line and depending on how accurately you cut this point should just be touching the circle occasionally they overlap a little bit but that's not a big deal all right you'll d repeat the same process for all four blue triangles until you end up with something like this ta-da tie fighter go watch it once you're done with that side flip over the unit circle to the other side. On this side we will be using both the yellow and the pink triangles. So you'll need to cut both of them out again. Like that. And just for emphasis, please remember yellow and pink. They both happen to be 30, 60, 90 triangles. There you go, yellow and pink. Um, I want everyone's to be the same and consistent. So, we're going to start with the yellow triangles. Okay, yellow triangles also have their 90 degree angle touching the x axis and are in a similar configuration to the blue triangles. And they should be glued like that. So again, I would do them one at a time so that you have references uh, on a scratch piece of paper. Make sure to get all the corners. Uh, you'll notice that a couple of my corners don't line up exactly, and that's okay. Once all of those are set, then we're going to go to the blue. No, 
pink triangles. These ones are going to go right on top of the yellow triangles, again with their 90 degree angle along the x-axis, looking like that. Probably should have glued those yellow ones. Hopefully you get the idea. Okay, so they're they're right on top of each other, um, and when you glue them all together, that looks a lot nicer. You end up with that. Okay, um, that's pretty much it for the construction. So, again, 30, 60, 90 goes with yellow and pink. 45, 45, 90 goes with blue. If you're feeling ambitious and would like to add a few other things, you can start by just writing the coordinates of our unit circle, just the four major ones. So, since this is a unit, it is one unit long. So, this point over here is at 1 comma 0. This point up here is at 0 comma 1. Over here we have negative 1 comma 0. <clears throat> and down here we have 0 comma negative 1. And you could do the same thing on the other side. And that's about as far as I want you to go at home. Please bring this to class completed treat it nicely, find a folder for it, you will be referencing it more times than you can count in the coming month and a half. So with that, um, hope you enjoyed my video. You should probably go watch Star Wars now because it's pretty awesome. And I'll see you in class. Bye.